Hey, Aaron, Cortez hurt a little bit by the, the long ball tonight. What were you seeing from him? Yeah, I mean, obviously, Salvi got him a couple times for big blows, and then uh, the stolen base of third was the other run that we didn't execute on. Um, but overall, he, you know, he, he was pitch efficient. He was in the strike zone, um, you know, not as sharpest, but definitely kept us in the ball game and, and gave us a chance and, you know, pitched us into the sixth inning with a chance there. So we just, you know, couldn't finish tonight. Bullpen faltered a little bit tonight as well. Same with last night. Do you think fatigue is, is at all an issue when it comes to the bullpen? Um, I don't know. You know, obviously, we, you know, we try and, you know, protect these guys and, and, you know, make sure we're, you know, giving them their proper rest and stuff. Fatigue's always going to have a factor on a given day with, with particular pitchers throughout the season, especially when you're leaning heavily on the bullpen. And, you know, it's why right now we have so many guys down there in the bullpen to, to carry the load a little bit. So, um, you know, I, I just thought some mistakes in the strike zone that, you know, they made us pay. Aaron, you've said yourself, all of these games are incredibly important for this team right now. To see the amount of errors you saw out of your team tonight, just what do you make of that, and and why do you think they were they were such a struggle defensively? Well, I mean, Higgy, Higgy just two throws got away from him, and then we, you know, we didn't play a good catch on a on a bunt back to the pitcher, and then you know, uh, the last one where it goes goes under the glove. So. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why. I mean, you'd have to. I mean, it, it, it happens. Um, Higgy's elite. Uh, a couple got away from him. You know, obviously, maybe a little fatigue setting in tonight on, you know, back to back, you know, long nights, hot nights. But, uh, you know, overall, we just didn't play our best tonight. We can take a next question. Eric Dolan, please unmute. Aaron, what did you see from writings tonight? He had been so good to his first three outings. Yeah, you know, get, comes in, gets ahead of Dozier with two strikes, and then looked like he made a mistake down middle right there that Dozier put a good swing on and made him pay for um, maybe just a little flat in the zone. Um, you know, I have to go back and look at some of the pitches, but, you know, it looked like he just made some mistakes probably a little bit down, a little bit middle. You know, I think... I think he lost a couple pitches arm side that kind of just, uh, you know, he lost a little bit and then obviously made, made the throwing air on the, on the bunt that they're, they're giving us the out. So, um, yeah, just not as sharpest, obviously for as, for as good as he's been in his first few. And Aaron, do you, um, do you have a starter for tomorrow? Uh, we'll, we're going to go talk about it right now. We'll have that for you shortly. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Brendan Cuddy, please unmute. Aaron, I know we've asked you a lot about Joey Gallo since he's been here. Some some highs, but tonight three strikeouts, a yeah. lot of strikeouts total. I just what are you seeing from him at the plate? Well, he's going to strike out. Um, I mean, so along with it, you're going to get a guy that over time is going to get on a ton. He's going to hit with with authority, and he's going to be a really great two way player for us. So, and along the way, there's going to be these nights, and um, but it's a guy that's. I've seen from Jump Street having quality at bats um, on a lot of pitches, and uh, you know I'm I, I think he's I think he's in a good spot right now. Yeah, you have the next question, Aaron. With that being said, he's still a young hitter and young player. Are there areas that you would like to see him kind of improve on? Of course, I want to see all our guys improve. And I think I think actually Joey has made some, I know, adjustments over the last 12, 16 months that, that have taken him probably to another level and are going to allow him to have more success moving forward. Um, you know, the bottom line is he's in the middle of a really good season, an all-star season. And, uh, you know, from what I've seen, you know, since we've gotten him, <clears throat> like he's in the fight all the time as far as, the at bat quality and you know so there's there's going to be a stretch where i know he's gonna he's gonna you know get super hot and and you're gonna see on base and and slug with them but as far as at bat quality i don't see him fooled i don't see him overmatched i don't see him uh you know you know he, he's 
it's quality against left-handed pitching as well. So, um, you know, I, it, there's going to be some peaks and valleys in there. Um, but, and, and then of course we want to work alongside them to, with all our guys to continue to always try and kind of reach for the stars.